Hello, this is Jeff from FunOfFitters.com. Today I'm going to show you how to check your gear case oil level on your 2010 M8 Snowbro. To check the oil level, you're going to have to uh, remove your driven pulley. So you're going to have to take your belt off and remove your side panel. Remove your clutch cover. And you'll have to remove your belt. So to remove your belt, you want to move the bolts carrying your driven pulley to your gear case. And take your adjuster, and turn it to the large side as towards your driven pulley. Install the bolt back in. And as you tighten your bolt, It'll open the sheaves and they're driven pulley. That's allowing you to remove your belt. Once your belt is off, you don't have to take it off your drive clutch. Just kind of set it aside. You're going to want to remove your bolt. Once you remove your bolt, you can remove your driven clutch. And you want to make sure that if you take your clutch off, to make sure if there's any shims behind it, that you make sure they stay on the shaft so you don't lose them because that's what keeps your clutch in alignment. Once you remove that, you'll want to remove this plug. There's two plugs in a gear case. This is a drain plug, this is the oil check plug. You want to remove this one. Now your oil level may be just a hair high of this plug, which is okay. And if you remove it, you might get oil to come out. If you do, like I did, just reinstall your plug. Means your plug, your oil level is fine. If you don't have oil come out, you may want to take a piece of wire or a cable tie and slide into the hole just to make sure your oil level is just below that hole. Once you do, put your plug back in, tighten it securely, make sure all your shims are in the right place, put your driven pulley back into place, slide it on there securely, install your bolt back in with the adjuster facing towards it so you'll open the sheaves again. Tighten this bolt. So you open the sheaves back up on your driven clutch. belt back in to your driven clutch easier. Once in, move your bolt. Flip your adjuster back the way it was. There's an O-ring in here. Make sure that's on there. Reinstall your bolt. Tighten securely. You want to reset your belt. Make sure your sheaves close a little bit. Reinstall your clutch cover. And making sure that you get all, everything realigned for your. Make sure you put your. Everything lines up correctly. Put your side pad back into position and secure with your clip. There you go.
Thanks for watching. This is Jeff with OneUpThers.com. You can give us a call, 866-531-0123, or look us up on the web at www.funoutfitters.com. Thank you.